Hey, up, welcome to the three o'clocks with me, Cuts. It's the 13th of August 2022. It's week three. Nobody's on the scoreboard just yet. No one has correctly predicted six results, including two non home results. It shows you how difficult betting is. Okay, we did have three comments last week predicting kickoffs that weren't at three o'clock. Now, the name of the series is the three o'clocks for a reason so just keep an eye out you want to have you want to be predicting the games that start at 15 0 0 and not the 12 30s not the 17 30s they're completely out of it okay guys so i've got this really really useful site here that will show us all the tables necessary thank you soccerassociation.com uh what else Last week, I remember mistaking Preston for Millwall. That was that. <laughs> I think I did some other mistake. But you know what? It With the 10 minute timer going, pressure's on. Uh, so that's why we brought this handy little tool out. So you can see kind of the progression of, um, of the teams. I can actually close it on my phone now since I found it on, uh, on the actual computer. And yeah, just keep your eye out, obviously. Take your time. That's why I'm posting these videos a little bit earlier than week one. So you can have a little bit of time to make sure your prediction is correct for the three o'clocks. For the three o'clocks, okay? Okay. And someone tried to edit their message. I seen it. I seen someone trying to edit their message. That's cheating. Let's not do that, all right? Okay. Start the time up. These are the three o'clocks. So we'll try and not talk about the ones that don't kick off at three o'clock. No confusion. Arsenal against Leicester. Brighton against Newcastle. Manchester City against Bournemouth. That would seem quite easy. Southampton against Leeds. Wolverhampton against Fulham. Championship. We got one early and then three o'clock. Blackpool, Swansea. Huddersfield Town against Stoke. Hull City against Norwich. Luton Town against Preston North End. Millwall against Coventry City. Rotherham United against Reading. Sunderland against Queen's Park Rangers. And then Wigan Athletic against Bristol City. League One is looking like this. There's an early kickoff. We'll pass that. Accrington Stanley against Burton, Cambridge United against Exeter, Cheltenham Town will be against Portsmouth, Derby County at home against Barnsley, Ipswich Town against Milton Keynes, Dons, Lincoln City against Forest Green Rovers, Morecambe against Fleetwood, Plymouth Argyle against Peterborough United, Port Vale against Bolton, Wanderers Sheffield Wednesday against Charlton Athletic, and Wickham Wanderers at home against Shrewsbury Town. I think Wickham let me down last week. We have in League Two. An entire list of three o'clock kickoffs. Wimbledon against Doncaster, Bradford City, Newport, Carlisle United against Swindon Town, Harrogate Town against Crawley Town, Leighton Orient against Mansfield, Northampton Town against Hartlepool, Rochdale against Grimsby, Salford City against Crew Alexandra, Stockport against Colchester, Sutton United against Barrow, Tramia Rovers at home against Gillingham, Walsall, Stevenage. National League, we got one late kickoff, but the others are at Three o'clock, Boreham Wood, Knox County, Bromley, Altrincham, Chesterfield at home against Aldershot, Eastleigh, Wilston, FC Halifax Town against Torquay United, Gateshead, Barnet, Maidenhead against Scunthorpe, Maidstone United at home against York City, Sully Hull Moor, South End United, Woking against Dagenham and Redbridge, and Yeovil Town against Wrexham. Whoa, I don't think I made any mistakes there. So, we got this to help us. See, oh, Wilson's actually up there. Wow, okay. Well, I was thinking immediately, Wilson against Eastley may, may be a problem. No, 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 definitely not. Um, Chesterfield, how was Old, Aldershot going? Aldershot not received any points yet. Mm. But I think like the National League kicked off last week, so they've only played one game, haven't they? So that, that might be a false dawn. Where are Chesterfield in that? They must have drawn away from home. They were very good last year. I really wanted them to get promoted into League 2 so we could do a Youth Squad Legend next season with them. But you know what? That didn't happen. So we had to make different plans. Chesterfield, obviously Man City are going in, aren't they? I mean, if they don't beat Bournemouth at home, then Jesus Christ... So let's try and avoid the Premier League for now. 
sorry guy i mean obviously people know the premier league people love the premier league but that for me that's that's what i'm going for maybe arsenal if i'm that desperate arsenal actually looking really really good this season fair play to them that's what you do that's what you get for sticking with a bloody manager that's what you get for sticking with a manager uh up here sunderland i think they've only played two blackburn rovers i don't think are playing they might be playing tomorrow uh, mm, sunderland sunderland are home against queen's park rangers they're going they're going great guns so far but qpr are also there sheffield united after a slow start they're, they're not available who are, who are the ones that are struggling? I'm so surprised Reading won last week, by the way. Reading, first week, looks shocking. Absolutely shocking. So, you just can't back anything properly. Oh, two draws for West Brom, Wigan, Luton. So, they're not... Is there a draw in here? Luton Town against Preston North End screams draw, to be fair. Hmm. God, they've both drawn. They've drawn their first two games. That would count as a non-home result. It's a non-home result if you are confused. It's either a draw, an away win, two draws, two away wins, whatever combination. Uh, yeah, because I'm pretty sure I back Cardiff City against Reading. Cardiff City playing early kickoff. Millwall Coventry. Coventry have only got one point. Oh, Adania. Bristol City, Huddersfield Town. Huddersfield looks shambolic. But they're against Stoke City at home. Do you really want to be back in that? We've only got four minutes and 44 seconds. We've only got one team down so far. I could stick in Chesterfield. Chesterfield against Aldershot. Yeah, we're going to go Chesterfield. Now, this is this is where you have a significant advantage because 10 minutes is just no time whatsoever, especially when you're reading out the, uh, the, the, uh, the fixtures as well. League 2, you got some teams absolutely shooting off. Barrow, Leighton, Orient, Crew. Barrow, Leighton Orient. Leighton Orient against Mansfield. Mansfield are always there or thereabouts at the end of the season near the playoffs. Where are Barrow? That's the National League curse. Barrow against Sutton now then. Where is Sutton in all of this? They've got they've got one point so far over what two games? Oh, Crew Alexandra. Crew have been great. What have we got? Walsall, Crew, Leighton Orient, Barrow, Stevenage. Stevenage? Stevenage have gone, like, started off that well. Jesus Christ. Hmm. This, this requires big think. Salford against Crew. That's not a backable game. That's just not a backable game at all. Barrow. It will be Barrow. I'm gonna go Barrow away. But I need that's only three. I need three more in two minutes and forty-eight seconds. Accrington Stanley, Burton Albion. Burton Albion shocking. Accrington Stanley. Oh, yes, that is one. That is one. We've got that one in the bag. If, if, oh, Burton are not winning that. There's no way. But Accrington, Stanley, Burton, 100% on the home side there. We need to find another away result. Mm. Who's down? Who's down at the bottoms? we got MK Dons. I'd love to back against MK Dons. MK Dons, MK Dons are away. Ipswich Town. Yep, that's it. So Ipswich. It's a little bit 
a little bit clear cut in League One. League One might be the might be the place to do my uh, do my um, list. We need an away result or a draw. We might go back to that Luton Town Preston North End game. I don't like the draws though. It's a backup, right? If I can't find anything in one minute thirty, it is a backup to do that. Let's try and go. What, what, Premier League. Premier League. Leeds United looked all right in their first fixture. Brighton are a good side. The only thing that you can do there is Leeds United, and can you really back them? No, not really. So uh, I'm avoiding the I'm avoiding the Premier League. 100%. Uh, Millwall Coventry. I think we've already looked at Millwall Coventry, haven't we? It's... I need to find an away. Huddersfield Town, Stoke City. Will Stoke City get one over? Bristol City. Where's Bristol City playing? Bristol City are away against Wigan. Wigan. Wigan have got two draws so far, so they're probably not going to win away. Sheffield Wednesday. 28 seconds. Against Charlton. Come on, find something. I'm going to go for the draw between Luton and Preston. But I, I was also thinking maybe Peterborough United. And that will be devastating if um, Peterborough United do go on and win their game. But you know what? We've gone for a draw. I hate the draws. So what is it? Luton Town against Preston is a non-home result. And then what is the other non-home result in all of this? Ipswich are at home, if I'm correct. Accrington Stanley are also at home. Barrow? It's Barrow. I'm looking, I'm looking towards Barrow to spring, get a result away from home. Damn, that was, that was tough trying to find that second non, well, actually both uh, non-home results. The home results, piss easy. The non-home results, you, I think there's a bit of luck there. That's why we brought them in. That's why we put them in there. So the scoreboard is a lot more difficult. And it goes back to the start of the episode. All right. Now, because I've done, I've done a timer for kids, I've now got old, old bloody cartoons being recommended. All right. See you in a bit. Bye-bye.